I just got Chipotle and <laughs> let's talk about this because I've seen a video on TikTok. This guy, he was basically explaining exactly how I was feeling to a T with Chipotle. I said I was canceling Chipotle like two weeks before the end of December, like the middle of December. First of all, I have a love-hate relationship with Chipotle. But when they had the El Pastor, I love the way the seasoned and whatever dressing they use for the El Pastor. I love when they had it. I hope they bring that one back. I paid attention every now and then when they have different flavors coming through. But I rarely go to Chipotle where I've known that they do like a rotation of flavors. So every now and then I will catch rotation, rotation of like steaks and stuff. But I never paid attention to the rotation of different types of chicken. And when El Pastor was in place, I was going to Chipotle all the time from like March to like until it left in August. Like I was running up Chipotle for lunch like I had it like that because I just love the chicken so much. And I'm like very picky if I want to buy myself lunch. So again, I have a love-hate relationship with Chipotle. Like I have to be in the mood to stop and get Chipotle. Mainly I enjoy it the most with the chips because of course they put like seasoning and lime juice all over the chips. So like when you mix it together with the plain bowl, it tastes good together opposed to just eating a plain bowl. I get a plain bowl. Um, without getting the chips, I always get the vinaigrette because like I feel like without the vinaigrette the bowl is so plain and the chicken tastes so plain. So again, that's why I like the El Pastor so much. It was like a different flavor that I actually like. I like sweet and spicy flavors. After El Pastor left, I cut down on going to Chipotle. I would only go if I really had this like taste to go. Like, oh I'm craving it. I wanna I wanna get Chipotle today. So in the video, I'm gonna try to like insert it. So yesterday I go into Chipotle. I haven't been to Chipotle in probably a couple of months because usually I go to Cava, which is more the healthy choice. And the times I've gone to Chipotle, they always, always them piss me off. I say, you know what? I'm gonna give Chipotle another chance and it's just right here. I go into Chipotle, I ask for a bowl. I don't get the burrito because one, know how to wrap the burrito. And two, if they do know how to wrap it, Half of the burrito was actually on the fucking table, which is disgusting and gross for me. So I started to get the bowl, even though I do like the burrito, I always get the bowl. How come every time I ask for chicken, you give me half a spoon of fucking chicken? And then I have to tell you, hey, can I get a little bit more? And then you get an attitude when you have to give me more. So the girl ends up giving me some more chicken, but she has an attitude, of course. And I'm just like, I don't give a fuck at this point. Then she gets down to the lettuce and the cheese, and I'm like, okay, let me get so a little bit of lettuce. You put a shit ton, a mountain of fucking lettuce on this bitch. You don't want to give me no protein, but you want to give me all the fucking vegetables. But that's exactly how I was feeling. Oh my gosh. Like, what I remember when Chipotle first came out, it was years ago. I remember I was pregnant with my son, and I think it was new here to the DMV. That was probably like 12 or 13 years ago. And I found out about Chipotle because when I was pregnant with my son, I couldn't eat anything. And Chipotle was like the only thing that I could eat, like something like salad-ish, like that type of consistency. I couldn't eat anything else but like salads. I knew Chipotle was around for years. And when it first came out, I feel like they were very generous with their portions. And then I went on this break. I didn't really go to them for years. And I started, you know, going to Chipotle um, again, starting throughout the pandemic. So that was a huge gap. I hadn't gone to Chipotle in like 10 years. And then, you know, throughout the whole pandemic and everything, you know, I started exploring them again. And like last year, I started going to them more heavier than what I, what I did in this like, you know, 13 year gap. But all I can remember is when they first came out, their portion sizes were so great. And then now fast forward 13, 14 years later, they are trash. And I started to get fed up with them. I noticed when you go to different locations, but it's a high turnover of locations. Like I frequent probably like the same five locations and out of the five locations, I probably only like one. Like if I really want Chipotle, I have to drive to that one. Cause I know if I go to the other ones, 
they're gonna fight me for food. So they, they tell you, oh, we give you a spoonful of whatever the protein is, right? But then when they take that big serving size spoon and you see your protein on it, they put it over your bowl and like sprinkle half of the spoon and put the rest back. Back in the day, they used to give you the whole spoon plus a little bit more without you having to fight them for portions. Nowadays, how do you sit there and tell someone in their face, we give you a whole spoon of full of protein, but then you only empty out half of the spoon and put the rest back? You're literally putting more rice and sprinkling like, I hate to be graphic, but like, especially when I'm about to eat, but it, it doesn't bother me. I'm just trying to use it as an illustration. You're sprinkling like turds, like that's what it's equivalent to little pieces of chicken in the middle of the rice and have the audacity to put the rest of the, the, the protein back. You're not even giving people the full spoon of protein. The last two weeks before Christmas, I was like, man, F this. I'm tired of this. Cause like, I'm not gonna keep frequent, frequenting a establishment, spending my money and you're barely putting any meat in people's bowls. And then if you be like, can I get a little bit extra, like a little bit, right? Cause they didn't put the whole thing in there. They'll be like, oh, double meat is extra. And I'm like, you barely put anything in there the first time. And don't get me wrong, y'all. I know I'm a plus size girl, but this is not coming from a, a greedy place. It is what it is. A lot of people are starting to express their frustration with Chipotle. And my thing is, if I have to go in there and ask for you to put the appropriate amount of protein in my bowl or fight pulling teeth for a few more pieces that you should have gave me from the get-go, I don't want to go there anymore. Or if I'm really in the mood for it, like I have to have it, I'm only going to the, the location I know where they're going to treat me right. But most locations, they are horrible. Like, it's ridiculous. So, I don't know. I know I said I was, like, canceling them, but I have been craving it. So, it's like if I'm absolutely craving it for the day, I just know where to go to get it. And that's so sad. That's really, really sad. I should be able to walk in any Chipotle and get... You're not always going to get the same type of service, but as far as the portion sizes, I should walk into any place and get what your portion size is supposed to be without fighting and running my blood pressure up just to get a meal. It's ridiculous. Let me go ahead and enjoy my lunch and head to my next stop. I was going to do a video for you guys. I bought the stuff with me because I have, I've been lazy at home, but I used my downtime to go to Ulta and Marshalls in between my next stop opposed to recording the video. So, sorry, but I had to do some frugal shopping or, you know what I'm saying, enjoy the little bit of time that I had um, because, you know, the weekend's coming and when I get home, I still try to tend to my one child I still have at home. So, <laughs> I'll try to make a video soon, guys. But I have my Ulta stuff, my drugstore stuff. And like a few, I'm going to do like two videos on Amazon, but I bought some of the Amazon, Amazon stuff with me because it falls in the line with all the stuff that I found recently in the drugstore that I was going to show you guys. So I'll try to get that video out soon, guys. But yeah, that's my, this is my little rant for today. <laughs> but I'll talk to you guys later.